So let's make some makeup brush cleaner soap. So I've got my soap in here and I'm gonna melt. So here it goes in the microwave. 30 second burst. So it's been in for 30 seconds and it's just getting soft and sometimes I stir it up just to, you know, keep it mixed up and not overdo part of it because you can see it's melting down there but not up here. So back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. So look at the difference what 30 seconds did. Stir it up. There's still lumps but I'll stir the lumps out. Just stir, stir, stir. And this is boring to you so I'm going to turn this off and once these lumps are gone We'll keep going. There. That didn't take long, did it? So, if I get bubbles, I just spray with, with the alcohol. And I have put in my essential oil of tea tree. I use a, step back. I use a dropper to measure it in. And so I'm ready to pour, I think. I have to so let's see if I can pour and hold on to a camera at the same time. Because the trick for me is is to get them all to come out even on a little fuller. I want them to come out even, and that is just so difficult. So let's pour a little bit more. And pour. Oh, is this going to be right this time? All right, let's hope. No, not enough. I think I'm going to make just a little bit more to fill that one out. Now, you see these bubbles? Watch this. Alcohol does that. All right, I'm going to make just a little bit more so that I can make that one just as full as these guys. There, I got that one filled up and I added a little more to it and it was starting to get hard on the edges and even with the alcohol it's still kind of domed. But that's alright, that guy gets more more soap. So I've got to let it sit here on the counter because I can't move it yet. Look at the jiggles. So, um, so now I'm wrapping in plastic with gloves and here they are. Fresh soap. Here it is unwrapped. I doubt if I can do this with one hand, but pull that over. And then, yeah, I can't. I want to make it smooth because here they are smooth. And before I've um, heat gunned them. That's hot. This is the white rose. This is the makeup brush soap. And the rhubarb and sugar cane. Lime, basil, and mandarin. And then the toilet bombs. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is weigh them and put on their label. Right. So, let's show you how I weigh them. Now, let's do the tea tree makeup brush soap. And I've already made up my label. And so, all I have to do is write in how many ounces. So, I've got it on, I put it on there, and that's 2.5. Then, I peel that off, and try to center it, and stick it on. Voila! Then I have a couple little samples that I had a leftover soap. So this is the lime basil mandarin. And this I didn't have quite enough. But anyway, this is the white rose. So I have little samples to put in every order. So I'm going to wrap them now. too wide for it, but that's what was left over 
from when I was wrapping the rhubarb. Had one square left over. And then, just like the others, and I just pull it down tight. Now these little guys, I used to wrap in tissue and then write their names, but now I just put it in the border of what otherwise would get tossed away. So, don't throw it out, right? So I just stick the bottom, the name on the bottom, and then you guys can tell what it is when you get it. So that's how I do it. They're stored in their little baggies, waiting for you to go to my Etsy site at JBS Farms, Zzz, you know, with an S, at Etsy, and then you get to pick out what you like. So until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.